Welcome back. Why you back? No matter what then. They were in. Wow. We found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh. There's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. Yeah. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish both seem out of their depth and Julia the love of Alex's life if only she felt the same what about Conrad a bold fellow you might say or maybe you'd say arrogant and then there's Captain Fliss strong forthright stubborn do I detect a spark Stop between her and Conrad? Oh. <laughs> Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. No, I'm good. Can I ask you why you said no? I just thought it was the right thing to do. I don't understand. I, I thought everything was going so well. Nah, bro. I know I should have a better answer for you, but that's just how I feel. Julia, I don't know what that means. She's weak. It was my gut reaction. I don't know. I should have explained myself better, but I didn't. Oh, God. What does this mean? Does this mean we're over? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should just uh, take some time apart to cool off when we get back. Fuck. Fuck. Let's just have this trip together. Keep things the way they are, for now. For now? Until when? We should I feel, just try to have a good I time alive, man. Why ruin it? We don't want to just be miserable, right? I'm sorry. I can't deal with this. I need to find my brother. No, no. You stay here. I'll go get him. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no. I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. What is he saying? <laughs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh yeah, the beers. 
I was just getting them now. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Where's my gaze, huh? You and the lady going through a little... Yeah, that's real convincing. What the hell? I, uh, posed. What? When? On the dive. <laughs> Why? Why what? Why'd you say no? I'm sorry, can you just give us a moment here? Bro, Julia, I'm just trying to have a chat with my brother. If you don't Hi. mind. So, Hi. we're going Hi. again tomorrow? with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Sure, find me, huh? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Find me, huh? Got it. Let's go up. Wait. Can we talk about what just happened? Later, Alex, okay? Yeah, later. Bye. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? Yeah. So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? How I sunk in this deep right. one. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Huh. Say nothing. What does it even matter? You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Nah. Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good okay, show. Hey, you died. You died. You died. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. What? It's kind of messed up, actually. You died. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, uh, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night. A sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Here. 
key of the one-track mine. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. A lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So Ew. the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Yeah. Marriage is a bitch, huh? So the lighthouse keeper huh. creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. Hold it down. It's his own face. And then oh. its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> so gross. Ah, hey, oh. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the huh. cheese there, corn dog. Huh. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, huh. It's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Why is that lightning? Are you awake? Yeah? Are you awake? Coming! Go! Off me land! Now I got... My... Who are you? Ah. How can they wait? How's <clears throat> oh, so not a wood? So it's not that cheap. <clears throat> it's a boat.
swear to God. Don't call these speakers. You'll be there one time, Daddy. You black and gunner? We'll find them boombox. Or you gunner? Yeah. We'll need long. Alright? Yeah. You're going to eat that. 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 You've been there so much I had to do that. You mean, you know? That's a good girl. Ah, you know? $50 soon. I'm 17. I'm 17! I don't know how much I'm going to do that. What kind of thing? $10 is not too bad! You want to get out of here? So I'll see you guys on the next one, because I'm dead though. Prolong this record.